Welcome to the Canadian Pharmacist Conference 2016. I'm Christine Dalgleish here with you in Calgary, Alberta over the next few days to bring you all the highlights. The Thought Leadership Summit wrapped up today and we moved right into the great debate where delegates both here at the conference and live streaming from home debated the issues, challenges and opportunities facing the profession of pharmacy in Canada today. Delegates moved from there into the opening reception where we launched the trade show and the e-poster research presentations. Delegates had a great time speaking with the trade show vendors and with their colleagues. Take a look. Being at this type of forum has truly, in my heart and soul, inspired me. It, I think what it has done is reinforced that um, it is okay to take risks. And so as I talk about my experiences as a new professional, I get positive reinforcement from these leaders who I highly respect. It allows me then to go back home and continue pushing on with the good work that I'm doing because I've been told by people that I admire you're doing a good job. Our great debate topic number one, the pharmacy practice model of the future and how to achieve it. It was awesome. Um, honestly, I, I've been in advocacy in a long time and I think that we really are engaging the members at this point and, and everybody for the first time in a long time isn't afraid they're engaged. Everyone who stepped up and spoke was so confident and so assured of themselves in such an, a time of uncertainty and we're really, we're really strategically addressing a lot of issues here and I think CPHA has just really done an overhaul that's amazing. I think it was a great addition to the conference mainly because we have to have these conversations and what I find when we come to conferences like this those conversations occur in the hallways. The strength of this is that it occurred amongst all of us. I thought it was excellent. I think we had a wide variety of opinions, of positions. Um, I think we had pharmacists across the spectrum that really brought out, uh, you know, great ideas, great discussion, and also, you know, areas that we need to improve on. So I thought it was an excellent forum, and the attendance was tremendous. so many great exhibitors here and it's so nice to see what's out there in the market right now. It's great to see all the technology and all the neat and cool things that are coming out and it makes me excited for my own practice and how I can harness all these new things that are coming out and what the future really holds for the profession. I've been to 35 consecutive conferences. It's really good. I think there's a lot of really good uh, booths here. Uh, very informative and I think that's what I like about coming to these kind of shows. Yeah, you get to see a lot of new products that maybe we wouldn't see because we don't see as many industry reps anymore. I think it's been really exceptional. It's really lovely to have uh, vendors from across the nation all in one place so that we can really learn about the different products that they offer but also the pharmacy support programs that they have in place because often the education that they provide is just as valuable as the product. Not only does it uh, give you a chance to talk to the reps that you might actually have not enough time in the pharmacy to actually speak to and, and uh, see some of the new material but also in that regard to socialize with the other pharmacists that are attending. It's a little nosh, a little drink and a little time to just uh, stand around and talk and I met some really interesting people so far. And that's it for day one. I hope you'll join us tomorrow where we'll have some very early breakfast sessions followed by the CPHA update, keynote speaker Chris Hadfield and a wide range of excellent CE opportunities including sessions on top drug interactions, Canadian deprescribing network, hypertension guidelines. We'll finish off the night with CPHA awards ceremony and the ever popular fun night. We'll see you tomorrow.